ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the host of Fun Friday Comedy, Jewelry O'Neill. You guys are so kind. Hello and good evening. Welcome to Fun Friday Comedy. I'm Jerry O'Neill. I'll be your host this evening. And on the ones and twos, doing what you know he knows how to do. It's the one. It's the only. DJ DeSoto. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, folks, uh, we have a pretty interesting show for you tonight. Uh, we have some pretty cool guests. Uh, Katie's Corner has returned again uh, for this show. Um, and if you have not been able to tell by my shirt, uh, it's fall. It's fall. <laughs> yes. Uh, in addition to owning our own entertainment company, my husband and I will be starting a fall line. Uh, this is Farm Girl. <laughs> this is Farm Girl Fancy. Yes. <laughs> check out the back. Yeah, check out the back. Though. Hold up. Oh, yeah. Yes, I like it. It looks like I have wings. Um, I love it. Okay, Fall and Red Bull. They both give me wings. It's awesome. Uh, speaking of Red Bull, um, I had actually to stop uh, consuming um, a lot of high fructose corn syrup, caffeinated beverages. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to change my life from the inside out. Um, I am doing a little um, dieting. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I was, I was hoping for an awe, right? But we didn't get it. We'll get it next time. Next time we'll get the awe. Um, so let's try it again. Um, I was, I was, uh, really torn, um, because, you know, I just started my, my diet. Oh, uh, much better, much better. I love the sympathy. Okay. Um, and, uh, I know what you're thinking. That's crazy, right? Um, the holidays are approaching. Oh my gosh, uh, they're gonna look a lot different though. Um, <laughs> holidays this year will look a lot different. Um, most of them will probably look like uh, the planning of a uh, bank heist uh, with <laughs> tons of people standing around a table uh, pointing at random things all wearing masks. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, who, who brought that cornbread? Who, who brought that? Cause, Cause you know Dollar don't wear no mask when she be cooking. So who, who brought the cornbread? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not eating that. Uh, uh, if, if there was such such thing, uh, as a uh, potluck anymore. Um, please don't invite me to yours. Please don't, <laughs> don't, don't do it. Um, but in addition to, uh, me starting this diet, uh, I'm also starting to exercise. Right. And so, uh, my entire body hurts right now, to be honest with you. Um, uh, my mouth hurts from, uh, Invisaligns that I, I, I got, um, trying to do a new thing, you know? Um, and so it's, uh, it's been a little painful. I'm going to say at least it's been a little painful. Aww. Thank you. Thank you for the timely awe, right? Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> I don't know what the laughter was about, but I do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, and so my body's a little sore, um, but it hasn't stopped me from, you know, forging on and, and exercising. It's, it's day two of two. Um, and so we've, we've exercised two days in a row and, um, I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough for the year. That's good enough. I think two is good. Two is great. Two is great. Um, no, but uh, the holidays are approaching, and one of my favorite holidays uh, is happening later this month, right? Halloween. Yes. Any Halloween homies out there? Anybody love Halloween? Yes. Yes. Halloween. Halloween has gotten such a bad rap over the years. I have no idea why, right? And in this year, a lot of my friends, they're, they're kind of banning Halloween. Like, they're going to keep their kids home. I'm like, why, why would you do that? Like, the one holiday where people actually are supposed to walk around wearing masks, and you're going to keep your kids inside? Like, no, no, no. Let that fruit flag fly. Just <laughs> Yeah, and, and nowadays, right, when kids wear masks, like, uh, Darth Vader and whatnot, like it's just like five inch plastic. I'm like, listen, that mask is more protective than the mask you send your kids to school in every day. <laughs> so really, really, what what are we afraid of with with Halloween and going trick or treating? 
Uh, if, if it's the candy, um, listen, you should you should do what I do. Look, okay, so my kids, they get dressed up. They love it. We go out. We say trick-or-treat to everybody, right? Um, and we collect all the candy. We bring the candy home. And for the rest of the year, my husband and I play a game where we kind of like, uh, I don't know, we kind of trick them. Right, a little bit, not not like too much tricking, but a little trickery, a little trickery um, to last the rest of the year. So Halloween's October 31st, but then we keep doing a little trickery for the rest of the year. Um, and we kind of deflect when they ask about the candy. We we, we kind of keep the candy for ourselves, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I don't know what we're going to do this year, baby, because um, uh, we, we both on a diet. So my, I'm on a diet and he's on a diet because I'm not cooking food I'm not eating. So, um, you know, if I'm starving, he's starving. We starving together, folks. Uh, and so that's that's how this household rolls. We, we keep the candy from the kids. Um, and then once we, you know, around maybe Christmas, New Year's, if there have been no reports of children dying from candy in our neighborhood, um, then we go ahead and roll that bad boy out throughout the rest of the year. <laughs> Yeah, we give it to them for snack time, for dessert. Just it's from January first to the next Halloween. Like that's what we do. <laughs> um, you should try it too. Give it a try. See what happens. See what happens. You never know. Um, you never know. Um, I'm I'm a little concerned though. Um, seriously. Um, so there's been a lot of protesting, a lot of marching about uh, equality and racial injustice, and and now at the start of school there are more and more parents opting to remote learning, right? Especially in light of, uh, you know, the commander in chief uh, catching COVID. So I'm thinking, wait, so school is usually the place where children are exposed to other cultures, other people from various walks of life, right? And so now, let's say hypothetically, I'm a bigot, Uh, it's hypothetical, all right? I'm a bigot, I'm a racist, right? And now my kid is home all day with me um, in my racism, in my bigotry. What What is the byproduct of this? Like when my kid grows up and goes out into the world, um, aren't they just gonna perpetuate the same stuff that they heard at home? Like, I, I'm, I'm a little concerned about this. And, and I know people are like, oh, but they're interacting with the other children on the screens. Are they though? Cause I teach and I, it's man, I've seen uh, <laughs> I, I I haven't seen this many black boxes since like five planes crashed into each other simultaneously. Like, <laughs> all I see is black boxes. Like kids rarely turn on their camera. If they do, they just stare at you, right? Or or you're getting a shot of like half of their head, right? So <laughs> it looks up like this. The kids like, yeah, miss, I'm here. <laughs> No, 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 I'm here, I'm here. Don't walk me out, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> miss, you can't see my hand? You can't see me? I'm right here. I'm right here, miss. <laughs> and that's that's who I'm teaching to? Like, I'm teaching to Edward Scissorhand, because that's all I can see is your hand. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I, listen, I don't, I, I'm, I'm longing for the days where all the kids can go and frolic and be happy. Um, and get out of my house uh, and, you know, be with one another and learn how to, you know, empathize with one another. And um, I'm not really big in tolerance. I, I prefer people to learn to love each other, um, at least um, to be cordial to each other, right? Respectful. Um, growing up, I was around all sorts of people from different backgrounds, various cultures, right? Even my own cousin, right? My cousin was totally different background than myself. Um, and I would love hanging out at his house, right? His background um, was more of the type that, like, uh, you know, those people, you know, those people in that culture where, like, they get married and then they have kids. You know those people. <laughs> you know those people, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not from that culture. I'm not from that culture. I'm from a long line of strong black women, um, mostly single, but they're strong nonetheless, Right. And so my cousin, him and his family, I, I would love to go over to their house because it was so different than my own. Right. Like his parents got married. And then they had him. 
<laughs> what? People still do that? Oh my goodness, right? And then, then after they had him, they stayed married. Like, what? <laughs> Mind blown. Oh my gosh. Like, oh. You guys, you're reinventing the wheel, indeed, indeed. <laughs> you know, and he was so different than the rest of my cousins because most of my cousins like came from single parent homes. And so I would call him like my unicorn cousin, right? And, and I would love to go spend time in his house um, just, just to hear mundane things, like not even super exciting, just regular mundane two parent household things, right? So I go over there and I'm like, Yo, 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 how, how, was your, how was your bedtime and your morning ritual? Because, like, what, what'd you do? He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> you know, you know, like, 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 well, when you went to sleep, like, like, who, who, who you say goodnight to? Who you say goodnight to? He's like, my mom and my dad. Oh, man. Oh, that's so great. Your mom and your dad. Oh, gee, shucks. Oh, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh the, um, um, so, 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 when, when you woke up, right, right, right? And, and 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 you went to the to, to the table for breakfast. Like who who said good morning to you at the table? Who said good morning? Who who said it? Who said it? Mm, my mom and my dad. Oh <laughs> man, guys, he's so lucky. This guy had it all, man. Oh my gosh, <sighs> unicorn cousin. I love this guy. Um, speaking of people who have it all, our guests today are. The lovely and talented uh, dynamic duo. He is a master barber, a rapper, a music producer. She is a singer, songwriter, spoken word artist. Together, they run a prank show called Melodic and Beats. Listen, folks, these people do too, too, too much. All right, so when we come back, we're going to see the interview uh, of our very, very, very awesome and incredible guests, Ari and beats okay so um make sure you guys stick around for that um some round of applause for for our guests no you're not gonna for the guests thank you i don't know dj DeSoto, see if you're doing a job or something yeah so when we return um we'll, we'll interview with them uh we'll catch up see what they're up to um they also have something special happening on halloween you don't want to miss it so folks this is fun friday comedy stick around we'll be right back Welcome back. Welcome back to Fun Friday Comedy. I'm your host, Jory O'Neill. Hey guys, have you ever wondered why isn't America's Funniest Home Videos as popular as it used to be? Well, I've got two words for you. YouTube. <laughs> Wait, is that one word? <laughs> anyway, YouTube has millions of people now uh, streaming, live streaming, uploading, downloading, webcasting their very own funny home videos straight to your TV and your phones. All right. And our guests for this night's noteworthy segment are none different. Check out their hilarious prank. I'm going to pretend that I'm perming our six-year-old son's hair. So here's the perm. Can you see my background? What are you doing? So I decided I was going to perm his hair. Look, it's, it's already been in for 10 minutes. It's already been for 10 minutes. Yo, I got to call you back. No. How do you just do it? It's been for 10 minutes. But he Take it out right now. You can't do this without running about it. It's a prank. No, it's a prank. It's a prank. <laughs> Yo, listen, if somebody try to perm my son's hair, he's the one that's going to be upset, not me. Easier to comb, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, when we return, we get to speak to our pranksters right here on our segment. You don't want to miss it, so stick around. <laughs> Listen, folks, 
We're back, we're back, we're back. Uh, my guest tonight can be seen all over YouTube, uh, spitting bars, doing hair transplants, and get into some crazy social media debates on just about everything, all right? Here's what the dynamic duo had to say when we sat down to chat. All right, and welcome to the segment of the show called Noteworthy, where we interview interesting entrepreneurs from all over the world uh, who are musically inclined. So tonight, I'm super excited. We got my homegirl, Melodic. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Wow, hi. And, and you can't forget my man, Casket. <laughs> Jay Casket on the beats. Yeah, what's good, people? Mm -hmm. How you feeling? How you feeling? You guys well? Very good. good. Alive, grateful to be alive. Amen, amen. All right, so uh, to get into the show, let, let let the people know who who we got. Who what who are you? Tell us something about you guys. All right, so well, I'll start off with myself. I'm Casket on a beat, um, entrepreneur, master barber. I do a lot of things, and you know, I'm trying to take over the world and just doing things with my wife and. Having fun doing it. All right. I am Ariana or Ari, Ari Melodic, um, singer, songwriter, spoken word artist, and um, big advocate for mental health awareness. And um, yeah, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Um, so what what role has music specifically played? Um, I guess I want to start off with Ari in, in your life. Um, you say you do singer, songwriter. Um, how has music impact you? Uh, or better yet, at what age did you know like this was going to be like an important part of your life? Okay. Um, I think I was about four years old. Uh, my grandma said, I remember this vaguely, but you know, she was there, obviously. I was in the living room and I was singing, I have gotten, um, what's that, I have nothing, Winnie Houston. And she said, I had a hairbrush in my hand. And she's like, you don't know anything about being in love or getting your heart broken. And for me, I think ever since then, music has just been a constant. It has helped me through heartbreaks, it's helped me through um, breakdowns, healing. Um, it's literally my go-to. It is part of my wellness plan. Self-care, music is a must. So it plays a huge role. And it brought me you. So we're like kind of together like that. Okay, okay. Oh, that's the way I like that. <laughs> that's that's so casket. Casket on the beat. <laughs> what, what, how yeah. does music become so important in your life, bro? Um, them Saturday mornings at grandma's, mm. you know, where she would play those old music, which, you know, I'm still in love with till this day. And just being around a lot of other musical talents as I was growing up, I just grew an un inseparable bond to just music and wanting to create it and, exp and express myself. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, we got so yeah. And uh, that started since a kid, maybe five years old. Five. Wow. Yeah. Four and five. All right. So, listen. No one has been able to answer this question straight out. And I hope, I hope you can break the trend. I really hope. Favorite art. <laughs> Ari, you go first. Oh, gosh. All right. That is difficult, but given my answer, my prior answer, Winnie Houston. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody finally made a decision. I got a whole bunch of inconsistent, <laughs> floppities. Uh, it's difficult. It is difficult. It is. It's, it's hard. I was going to say I, can, I don't have a favorite, but just given that memory and how that how that started. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So. Cassie, what about you, bro? Um, For me, I'm going to answer this from the producer side and not the listening side. Okay. As you know, as a music producer, I do a lot of sampling. I'm going to say my favorite group ever is Rolls Royce. Bro. That car wash soundtrack is literally the story of my life. Nice. Wow. I love it. Yeah. Wow, y'all make me want to make a movie. Just follow <laughs> 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 y'all around for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So, so, all right. So, Mr. Producer, what, what type of music, what genre? Like, I, I understand Roy's Royce, 
but is that the type of genre that you listen to when you want to unwind now? Like now it's yeah, now. yeah, definitely. A lot of 60s soul, 70s soul, Aretha Franklin, you know, um, Spinners, Rock, the Isley Brothers. That type of music is definitely my lane when I want to unwind it and just kick back and chill. All right, Ari, right, what about you? We we still in that Whitney Houston phase? Same, same. I'll I'll go. Yeah, I love Motown. Um, Gladys Knight, uh, Patti LaBelle, all of them. Uh, Fontella Bass. I probably won't. R and B's uh, probably stop at like two thousand, early two thousand. Yeah. I'll stop at early two thousand. They there are some good R and B hits after two thousand. Okay, so then let's add a little bit of her too. That's why I say yeah, we like Alicia Keys. I love Alicia Keys. Keys. I love her. Um, but there's not that much. I mean, this in this past decade, I, I don't know. I'm really so anything prior to that, R and B, all the time. Yeah, I think if you put a blindfold on yourself and you think of, and you uh, pick a, a, a random song out the hat, um, it ain't gonna be too many options if we basing it off music from today. Yeah. The quality of music was so much better back then. Mm -hmm. So, so what kind of music do you make? All types, but mostly hip hop, R and B. Hip hop, R and B. Yeah. You like soul music? I like soul more, like neo soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like neo soul, yeah. So, what what drives you right now? Like, like what's that fire? I understand you say you, you love making things and and running a company with your boo boo. You know, like that's what's up. Uh, black yeah. love is beautiful, uh, but what what is your driving factor? Like you trying to build an empire? Like like what 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 gets you going? The want to be better than you know, like our parents and mm. you know the people around us who we seen struggle so much. Mm -hmm. Now with all the tools that we have around us, we try to make that work for us to be even more successful. Mm -hmm than the people around us because we right. we got family and you know we want the best for our kids. Yeah. How else to show them than for them to be able to see us doing it and accomplishing yeah. what was perceived as impossible right at one point mm -hmm. for our you know skin color. <laughs> 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 Just being realistic, you right. know what I mean? From black and brown community. Yeah. I love that. So I, I do have a question off the cuff. Oh. Uh, just because y'all y'all married, right? Y'all married folks. Um I'm married. I'm married now. Yeah. That's a fact. But what is the most difficult thing uh that you find or you face working with your spouse? Like working, I, you mean I, I don't mind as a, a question myself. Uh, go first, go ahead. Yeah, because I need I need a little bit. You mean like business wise or just Life in general. I mean a combination, right? Because I, I have kids. Y'all got kids? Yes, yes, yes. Right. So, cool. so just that that balance. For me, like the most frustrating thing is is when we're not on the same page, either with, with parenting, right, or with finances, or like with the future of the business. Like when we're not on the same page, like it's them nights be tough. They be long. They 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 be hard. Right. Like no, no cash. That's true. Yeah. I would say, at least from my perspective, I would say just being sure to check in emotionally. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you could be so wrapped up in whatever you're doing, and I do a lot, that yeah. I might forget to check in to see how she might be doing. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, you all right? What's going on? Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, you know, sometimes that can be hard when you got school and two companies to run and you're a content creator mm -hmm. so that's probably one of those things for me okay um i would say also what you like the the um being on the same page i think we because we're individuals we come with different opinions we come with different ways of doing things especially when you're not before you get married and so trying you get married and you're trying to merge and you become one but you're still different. You're one, but you're still unique. You still have your different ways of doing things and different way of approaching things. So I'm more nicer when it comes to the kids and, and trying to get things done. I'm very like, I, this has to be like this. Yes. Um, and he's like, nah, he's like, you just, you know, just mess this with it, this is what it is, and that's it. So for me, it's like, uh, I, I, I freeze and sometimes um, that's, that's, that can be 
challenging is me not getting personally offended when he's not on board with what I want to do. So that's the, it's me. I mean, he, he, he has his issues. We all hot messes. But when I choose to react a certain way and take it too personal, because you know, I'm sensitive, that, that causes conflict. <laughs> so that's, that's challenging. <laughs> that, you hit that right on the nose. Yeah. Wow, I, this is man. I feel like I had a nice little therapy session. Um, I, please don't. <laughs> 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 Amy, get it right now. Um, <laughs> I was serious. <laughs> this is what we're um, and we we have a little fun. Uh, I enjoy you guys' company so much. I know we played uh, game nights, and you guys are literally like the life of the party. Um, y'all usually smash everybody, and y'all win. <laughs> Today, I want y'all to compete against each other. So it's going to be every human for themselves. And right. then, we're going to play Bust a Note. Okay? And so the way to Bust a Note works is you have a uh, song. Type. Yeah, warm your vocals up, bro. You've been the song <laughs> and an artist. And the goal is to sing the song only using the word no. So um, right. we'll sample real quick. Just for the folks at home so they know what we're talking about. I right, here we go. No, 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 that's Michael Jackson. Beat it. Beat yeah, it. all Definitely. right. So, so we on the same page. You know what we're doing. Yep. Uh, and so I am the host. I'll let my guests go first. Uh, so between the two of you, who wants to go first? Uh, you're going to pick a song. You get 90 seconds. 90 seconds going to play. At the end of it, you're going to hear a buzzer. The buzzer is going to sound something like, what's it going to sound like, baby? Ooh, well, that's strong. I think Heard that. Heard you. <laughs> you. Come to the house, like, like we used to keep recording and see what happens. <laughs> you might even we need to lower that, baby. Like, I think I hear fire trucks. Like, that's. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's real. That's more human audibly. That's that's good. That's good. You you literally have a fire truck. Where you are. That's what that sounded like, right? <laughs> you might. You might. I, I might be lying about that budget. I might be lying about the budget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, which one of y'all going to go first with the bus of I'll go first. I'll go first. All right, let's go. Let's hit it. All right, Mr. All right. Producer, let's see if you can start. I got it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And that's the hook part of the record. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, before your time go up, like, go to a verse or something, bro. Like, I don't know the verse. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. You're probably messing up but the hook I don't think too. you guys would know. But I, I feel like you're messing up the hook too. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's that simple though. It really is that simple. No, 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 no. How much time we got on the clock, baby? Woo! No, 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 no. Oh. Ow! Ow! No, 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 no. Woo! No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know, <laughs> right? I really don't think so. Right? I, you, you, hold that, you hold that one. You hold that one. Don't, don't, don't let it loose. It might, it might come to us later. All right, Ari, right. uh, right, you go next. Okay. Um. No, 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 no,
say what it is? Uh, first of all, that, that's the title, it. bro. It's the title. Title of the artist. No, 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 no. So he loses. So you don't even get a chance what? to get it. What? I just said who made no, the record, no, no, though. No, 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 no. I don't no. want no scrubs, TLC. No scrubs. Yeah. Oh, that's the name of the record. You got it right. No, but you don't get it right. Because you title. title. The record is no scrubs, though. Right, but you didn't say the title. You didn't say the title. Yeah. Why? Ever. Y'all want to cheat the wait, king? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. But, you know, but you know what's so funny is that you interrupt me and try to sing the song. Because I know the record. <laughs> I know the record. But you ain't know the title, man. <laughs> right. All right. you go. All right. Here we go. Uh, ooh. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I know this record. No, 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 That's not Belle Bibb That's Boys to Men. No, it's not. No? New edition? Yes. I said it was oh. Boys to Men is back again. Oh my gosh, but I yes. forgot the title. Boys Tell us what the title is. Really, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know the record because I sampled that a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Jamel. This is your last term, bro. Come on, make it good. You gotta, you gotta redeem yourself. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, now I really did not know this song, but I know it. <laughs> so, um, um, no, 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 mm. um, no, 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 no. No, 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 that, see, that, you should have started with that one. That, it's all right. I don't know what the other thing was. I don't know what that was at all. All right. Are you ready for that? Can I tell you what the other one was? No, no, no. At the end, at the end. It might come to me. Okay. Or my producer might sneak me a letter. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> all right. All right is my go? The last one. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Prince Dove's Crop. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so it has to be like, like, old, old school for you to understand what it is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, then this song is up for grabs to any human in the universe. Um. All right, you can't even know this. This is okay. All right. Um. No, 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 no. So fresh, so fresh, so clean, clean. Outcast, outcast, so fresh, so clean. Yes, good. Outcast, fresh, so clean. Oh my. I knew who that was. I knew who that was. All right, and with a score of 
four, two, one. Ari, you are the winner. Thank you. That's what she's won. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> really low. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yo, this was so fun. Like, like, tell the people where they can find you, how they can follow you, how they can get at you, hear some more of your stuff. Where can we find you guys? Where can we find you? Look me up at Casket on a Beat. On Everywhere. <laughs> we got Ari Melodic. Casket on a Beat. Ari underscore Melodic. It's on Instagram. On Instagram. All right. um, and then Melodic and Beats. Melodic and Beats on YouTube, where you can see us doing funny stuff, pranking each other, just acting a fool and having fun around each other. Mm -hmm. And I got the album about to drop October 31st. It's going down. You have a few singles on what Spotify. Album, bro? What you mean? What, what album you got going on? Oh, I mean, the pandemic beat count. It's, I'm doing something that's never been done before. Wow. Yeah, so. The pandemic, I did a bunch of beats, and I'm it's unbelievable what I'm doing. I'm practically just giving it away unlimited license, what free to stream. Yeah, say that again so I can put it in the captions. <laughs> Artists have unlimited distribution rights, so I don't, any... have to put, I don't own the rights to this music if I use your music. No, you own it, you don't have to pay me royalties to use it. Oh, my. <laughs> and they're good. They're dope beats. Yeah, it's 15, 15 tracks on a on a um album. It's free to stream because you know people need to hear it before they actually buy it. And then it's gonna be $9.99 a track if you choose to want to use it for whatever you want to use it for, whether wow. it's your YouTube channel, your album cut, single, and all you have to do is just give me credit for doing the beat. Zero percentage cuts, up to a million copies. What? Yeah. So once I get That's to right. one, then you can you get paid. <laughs> we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I like it. After we people stop counting, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. Listen, you guys have been fantastic. I uh, really appreciate your time. Once again, thank you. you. Tuning in to the noteworthy section of Fun Friday Comedy with Jay Casket on the beat and Ari Melodic. You guys have yeah. a good one. Thank you. It was fun. Yo, it was fun. It was dope. Thank you. Hi. Yo, hanging with these two is always a ball of laughter. Um, speaking of laughter, did you guys check out SNL this past Saturday? What am I doing? Listen, with more about SNL and other hot topics, here's Katie's Corner. Enjoy. Hi, welcome to Katie's Corner, here to give you the latest entertainment. First, I just want to say last Saturday, Saturday Night Live, Chris Walk opened up the show, did not disappoint and did not hold back. And despite everything that was going on with President Trump, what he always says, it is what it is. Next, for you basketball fans, Doc Rivers, he will be now the head coach for the Philadelphia 76ers. Next, I want to talk about Chadwick Boseman. For those of you who don't know, he was a great actor. He passed away this past August from colon cancer. He played so many iconic roles like Jackie Robinson and Thurgood Marshall. He has a new film and his last film, um, which is an August Wilson adaptation of 1982 called Ma Rainey's Bottom. It will be debuted on Netflix. Check it out, check it out, check it out and support. Last, all the babies that were born last week, so many babies were born last week. I just wanna say congratulations. Nicki Minaj and her husband welcomed their new baby. They have not revealed the gender yet. Next is Kevin Hart with Aniko Hart welcomed their baby girl. Also was Usher Raymond and his girlfriend welcome a baby girl. Mara Rooney and Joaquin Phoenix, both actors, welcomed their baby boy. And Justin Timberlake with Jessica Biel welcomed their baby boys. Whew, so many babies. But thank you for tuning in. Welcome to Katie's Corner. See you soon. Wow, that is a lot of babies. Probably not as half as many that were conceived during quarantine, though. <laughs> Listen, it's historically proven that after every natural disaster, there's such a huge uptick in births. All right? So, Sandy, Katrina, Irene, COVID, right? Oh, and in November, the election. Because naturally, 
that's going to be a disaster. <laughs> I mean, have you seen who's running? <laughs> well, that's our show for the night, folks. I'm Jory O'Neill. This has been Fun Friday Comedy. Be well. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. Peace. You like the ongoing claps? I like it too. Can't do this all night, folks. You gotta go sometime, okay? Stop pushing buttons, baby. Stop pushing buttons. All right.